Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be comparing two grocery stores that I visit here in downtown Toronto. Loblaws versus Freshco. So what do you think who's going to win? Loblaws or Freshco? grocery stores from Walmart, Costco, Freshco, Loblaws, Metro. There's so many options and sometimes I get curious to really find out if there's any price difference between all these stores. Well, I'm very sure there is a slight difference here and there. So if you guys are following me from quite some time, you guys know I was staying in a shed accommodation earlier on the east side of downtown. So at that time, Freshco was the nearest grocery store that I used to shop from. And after I moved to this condo, I started going to Loblaws because that's the nearest grocery store from my condo. So for the purpose of this video and to make it fair, I made a proper list of grocery items that I needed for my weekly groceries. And I shopped the same items from from Freshco as well as Loblaws. So for week one, I went to Loblaws for my grocery shopping and let me take you guys along with me. And today we are going to Loblaws. So Loblaws is Canada's largest food retailer. It has its own brands by the name Preston Choice and No Name. I honestly prefer to shop at Loblaws as it's so huge, it's also close to my condo and always has everything I need. Loblaws is always well stocked and I don't have to really worry about the quality of the food because I trust that whatever I pick it would be fresh. All the fruits and veggies are literally shining. Shopping at Loblaws is so so mindless. Also a fun fact, did you know that when the fruits and veggies come at the Ontario Food Terminal, which is the wholesale fruit and produce distribution centre in Canada, the produce there is graded based on aesthetics. <laughs> yes, I did not know that but I did my own research and found out when all these veggies and produce come at the terminal, all these retail stores bid on it and the highest bidder is the Loblaws. That's why you see such proper veggies in proper shapes with no marks at all. And after that, it's distributed to other grocery stores. And Loblaws is definitely one of my favorite grocery stores here in Toronto. Okay, that was a lot of shopping done. So I spent $110 at Loblaws. So this includes basic items that I will be comparing today. I always love going to Loblaws. It's such a good grocery store. Like everything is so well kept and I can literally spend hours and hours at a grocery store. Let me know in the comments down below if you do the same as well. So now let's not waste time and let's go to week two where I went to Freshco for my weekly groceries. So you want to come with me? Let's go. So it's another week of groceries and today we are at Freshco and I have got the same list, the things that I purchased from Loblaws last week. So I'm going to buy the same things from Freshco and let's see what the price difference is. So let's go. And now coming to Freshco, it's owned by Sobeys and it's pretty hard to beat the deals at this store. And talking about the displays here at Freshco, they're not as pleasing to the eye as compared to Loblaws, but looks aren't everything, right? And I know this. Freshco always has good deals, there's no doubt about that. And also, it has an international section, which is pretty good if I want to get some Indian stuff as well. So this was 89 cents there, and here it's 50 cents.
celery, tomato, apple, cucumber, fresh garlic, and ginger, red pepper. We did not get strawberries here, that's okay. Banana, blueberries, chicken breast, uh, 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 egg muffin, hummus, and parmesan cheese. We are done. Awesome. Let's go and get this build. I actually spent $110 although I spent exactly the same amount at both these grocery stores but I can really tell you I think when I went to Freshco I really got a lot of extra items okay so let's not waste time and let me show you the comparison between the basic items like fruits veggies milk cheese etc starting with eggs so at Freshco the eggs were for $3 and at Loblaws it was $3.09 for chicken, it was $9 at Freshco and $11 at Loblaws. For baby spinach, it was actually the same price. For spring mix, I actually saw a difference. It was $2.50 at Freshco and $3.99 at Loblaws. For egg muffin, it was $1.25 at Freshco and there was no other brand that was under $3.49 which I got at Loblaws. So definitely higher at Loblaws. For yogurt, I spent $2.77 at Freshco. So again, Loblaws was expensive. For wrappers, it was $4.39 per kg at Freshco and $5.49 per kg at Loblaws. A little expensive than Freshco. For lime, I just got one piece, so it was 50 cents at Freshco, 89 cents at Longmore's. So for green bell pepper, it was $4.41 per kg at Freshco and $4.39 per kg at Longmore's. Almost the same. And for garlic, I got one piece. This was for 35 cents at Freshco and one dollar at Loblaws. So definitely garlic was expensive at Loblaws. And yellow onions, 2LB. This was actually a surprise. It was expensive at Freshco for $2.99 and $1.99 at Loblaws. For red bell pepper, it was $5.59 per kg at Freshco and $8.80 per kg at Loblaws. Gosh, the red bell pepper at Loblaws was super expensive. For avocado, it was $1 at Freshco and just a tad bit more at Loblaws. For Roma tomatoes, it was $3.31 per kg at Freshco and a little higher at $4.39 per kg at Loblaws. For celery, it was roughly the same. For mushrooms, it was priced equally at $2.99. For bananas, it was actually expensive at Freshco at $2.18 per kg. And at Loblaws, it was $1.96 per kg. Broccoli, again the same price, $5.49 per kg. For cucumber, it was $1 at Freshco and $1.69 at Loblaws. For hummus, it was almost the same. For blueberries, it was very expensive at Freshco at $3.99 and at Loblaws, it was $1.99. I think maybe there was a deal, that's why. For milk, it was $5.27 at Freshco and it was exactly the same price at Loblaws. So these are all the basic items, but I just wanted to compare three items that I would sometimes get from these grocery stores. For example, this chicken broth, it was actually equally priced at Freshco as well as Loblaws. And for jalapenos, it was $3.99 at Freshco and $4.49 at Loblaws. For the barbecue sauce, it was $3.49 at Freshco and more expensive at Loblaws for $4.99. And even in these three other items, I saw a slight difference. Uh, I'm sure after seeing all these numbers, you have figured that Freshco definitely wins. But let me tell you how much is the price difference. $12. Yes, that's huge. I mean, $12, like if you calculate every week, that's like 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. Oh my God, I'm so bad at maths. But yeah, 48, like $50 is the difference that really comes out for your monthly groceries. 
and I think that's a lot of difference. And also, by the way, there's one more difference. So at Freshco, there's a weekly flyer that comes, which has tons of deals. So if you want to buy some other items, just like sauces, chips, uh, noodles, or something like that, there are always deals on them every now and then. And I think that's also one extra added advantage of going to Freshco because obviously, who doesn't love deals? But I've seen at Loblaws, there are deals sometimes, but it's not like a lot. You would only find a very small difference and also not at a lot of items. So definitely fresh coke wins here. But let me tell you why I go to Loblaws. Because for fresh go, I always have to take like a streetcar or a bus. So for which I would spend $3 for my Presto Pass for tapping it once. And also Saranch is always with me. So we pay twice. So that's like $6. And sometimes if I'm not able to do my groceries in those two hours that the Presto card has the time limit for, I will have to tap again. So that will be another $6, so $12. Then it won't really make sense because if I go to Fresh Co, I'll spend that extra $12 just in the commute. And for going to Loblaws, I can always walk. So that's how I save my $12 going to Loblaws. But yes, if I'm able to manage it within those two hours, which I think most people can. So definitely, I mean, $6 per week that's also like not a bad deal. And obviously when you calculate uh, like in a month, that's again like $25 that you save, which is not bad. And yeah, I cannot go to any other stores because there's no Walmart or Costco or Metro near to my place. So that's why I just want to compare Loblaws and Freshco. And I hope you like this video. And also let me know in the comment section below, which grocery store do you go to? And I'm sure I'll get a lot of comments saying Walmart and Costco are way cheaper than these two grocery stores. But yes guys, I don't really have Walmart Costco near me so I just have these two options and hey I'm not saying go to this grocery store or that grocery store whatever is nearest just go there and save your time and guys if you have Loblaws or Freshco nearby and if you want to save some dollars you know what to choose for but I've also seen Loblaws quality is definitely better like the fruits and veggies they're always so fresh and nice but not saying Freshco isn't so yeah just make a choice go wherever just want to make this a quick video to really show you the price difference if there's any and also let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make more comparison videos like this or if you want me to compare a specific grocery store or any other store I would love to do that and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and you know the drill please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time bye